Greetings and welcome back to Long War 2. So it's a new recording session for me, so I was looking around the map trying to remember what I was doing in the last episode. And we had this awesome supply raid, I think. And then while I was getting getting accustomed to everything again here, because it's been like uh, five or six days since my last play session, um, two missions popped up. One mission is a jailbreak with only two days, 14 hours on the timer. Even I've, I've checked, even sending a single soldier is above three days, so I'm not going to be able to do that. Would have been nice to get some additional resistance personnel, but not the end of the world. The other mission that popped is um, this one. Destroy an alien relay to prevent a resistance data leak. Now, um, an 8 hour timer is obviously even worse than the other timer. And if this mission fails, which it will because I will not send someone in there with 8 hours, we will get a retaliation mission with a data, data tap protection. So that's probably coming up, uh, I guess, in about 8 hours. We do have flatline um sitting here as advisor so that's kind of powerful and i hope he doesn't get taken out in a weird position but he has concealment uh phantom i think so uh, we might even be able to to scout around the data tab instead of just sitting where afraid to do a single step because it triggers something so what else do we have here we have Wolf Squad infiltrating a workstation. I still think we kind of need to look at these things, but I'll probably wait. Um, wait until the the data tab is over. Also, um, if I remember correctly, if we look into our armory, we have two injured soldiers. Which is Snake and Sticks. So our high-ranking, two of our high-ranking officers are injured and Daddy Home. I kind of want to have available for things like that data tap retaliation. So, hmm. Can I afford to wait another six days before I start infiltrating here? Well, I guess we'll find out. So what do we do then? Um, why does might as well scan here because uh, data tap is happening. Well, hello there, Mr. Concealed. What are you again, specialist? Yeah, that's gonna be interesting. Uh, I guess by the time he's done with the training, 1.3 is released and stuff missions aren't really a thing anymore. Or not as much as before. So what's this? Neutralize target, get advance attention. Okay, so that's plenty of time. Supplies and intel is obviously nice. Do we want to get uh, advance attention here? That would probably increase the strength in West Africa, uh, Africa, but might reduce it in adjacent regions. Which I actually wouldn't mind. Yeah, let's... Setting course for West Africa. That might be something for him. Uh, okay, New let's... Objective added. Who's the Skarja gonna call our latest operational objectives, Commander? Okay, no more Shadow Projects available, so let's go back to... Data Caches... Battle Suits... Plasma Weapons, Sector Pod... Uh, yeah, I think Sector Pod breakdown, because we have two of these babies now, after the last supply raid. From what I've been told... I can see why you would consider redirecting our efforts, Commander. Oh, yeah, we'll data caches might have also been an right idea. Away. Anyway, so this mission here. You're telling me very light baseline activity. Because this thing is going to tell me extremely light. Because, mm -hmm. Fix your game here. So, how does the Swarm team feel about this? They are six days, eight hours. 
That's such a split in ranks here. Lance Corporal Sergeant and then you have a Tech Sergeant Master Sergeant. Um, yeah, I think I'll, I'll send them on this mission. So let me just equip the squad and then I'll be right back. And here's the squad. So, Squad Swarm is going out on another mission. They've been not been out in a while. So, I'm not really sure what I've done with the squad, because that's all the people. I know that Nuke is also in the squad and currently in the AWC, so that's maybe the reason. Um, they don't have their own squad shinobi, so I'm taking Jane Kelly along here. Who is still sitting at free base health? That's really disgusting for that rank. Anywho, um, we've got some ghost weapons here. Uh, I built a new cannon and long rifle. Basically, this is the, the backbone of the squad to kill the enemies. And also with the scattergun here. And basically then the support to shred... Uh, bomb them away, hack them and keep them disoriented or blow them up. Sounds good, 6 days, 20 hours, we can get reach 118%. I may or may not boost that, probably not. I mean, it will be a net gain, but I don't think that's... <clears throat> that's the main driving force. The enemy list sounds a little bit scary, like um, Great Archon is always an enemy you need to... I don't know, respect, be afraid of keep in your mind, something like that. So let's fly back to New Chile and keep scanning there. And there we have our data tab. No, it's a regular retaliation. Ooh, okay. So you guys look kind of ready for this, right? So you're telling me there's anyone here who really can get better weapon upgrades? Yeah, you could take the Elite Magazine, but mm, not convinced that that's the right thing to choose here. That's probably a Mariner because I have an Elite Scope uh, sitting around. I think we just go like this. It's about time we get some more Master Sergeants here on the flanks. So I'd say go for it. distress signal and as far as we can tell the aliens are heading back against one of the resistance outposts it doesn't look good we're moving in to secure the area as quickly as possible neutralize all enemy contacts so um rescue as many rebels as possible i always get confused which uh, resistance mission retaliation mission it is here basically two types one is with enemies on the map, like the classical retaliation. Menace one five. Hostile forces are attacking the outpost. Yeah. Eliminate all enemy units and protect those civilians. Advent came in hot, and so did we. You won't have a concealed position for deployment on this one. Yeah, and that's exactly what we're looking at here. So we've got civilians somewhere, and we need to bring them here as many as possible. And there are enemies on the map we have to kill. Just um, as with the normal retaliation mission, you can just ignore rescuing civilians and concentrate on killing the enemy. That works too. Also, we've got Connor here. Some sniping and marking, and obviously our scout is in the back. That's perfect. 
Let's bring you, I don't know. The others surely didn't come this way. That's an interesting start. So what do we have here? Oh, mama. Shield bearer officer. Hive queen, chrysalid soldier. So I'm not really sure if we get um, loot on this mission. Because, I mean, technically we should. Because once uh, it's a new sweep objective, right? We kill all the enemies. But since you can also win by just rescuing all civilians and evacuating out. So, I don't know. I'm just um, considering because we have so little chrysalid corpses and we can use them for this uh, ablative armor thing stuff. Anyway, can we... This will trigger the, 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 the guys and will not trigger the other guys. Do not have a skull jack. I think I'm fine with triggering the chrysalids. Worst case, I mean, we're not in a position, but we do have Frostborn. And most importantly, we do have Double Tap Shredder. So that might be able to take care of the Half Queen. Especially if we um, hold a target. So let's bring the Cosmos up here, trigger the Crystals. Hi. Oh, that's a fur trap. Let's hope they stay together. Mm. Kind of, not really. Okay, I think, I mean, if there's a target you can use a rapid target for, it's probably a Hive Queen, right? Now the quest, or the question, one of the questions is... I mean, once I start from grenades, they will probably hear that sound. Oh, let's uh, rephrase that. So, the question is, do I grenade? Do I get some? Do I keep a command? Do I save myself for the f frost? Frost bomb. Let me just double check. Um, where's lockdown? There. What kind of shot do we have on that thing? 55% of crit. I feel like we should get some. Move it out. And get some cover in the meantime. Okay, Hive Queen. I thought Get Sun gave you 20 crit. Yeah, wasn't wasn't it at 55 just a second ago? Oh, because I see the third target, aggression, yeah, 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 yeah. I, I know how this game works. Um how about you die? That's a crit for twelve after armor. Uh, the second shot, a crit for 20. It's down to 21. That's still a lot of um, armor to go through. So why don't we... Yeah, if I move up, then I will probably trigger the these guys over there. Not a fan of that. How about this? This should not trigger them, okay. What's over there? It's 
so we shredstorm. Something to be said that I should have done this first. Because it shreds a lot more armor. Okay. So we got 15, 11, and 17. That's a tall order still. Thing, saturation fire might be necessary here. I don't like um, blowing all the cooldowns in turn one, but uh, yeah, that's still here. Big enemy, dead enemy. Okay, so how do I get the one in the back? Probably, I, I probably won't. Let me rephrase that question. How do I get the one in the front? Um, I can get him. Harvey. What about you? That's a problem of color. I mean, you can definitely get the one in the front. I just don't see a spot for you to get the one in the back. Unless I want to stand out in the open, but then those guys might not be happy about that decision. Unless I pop fortify and give him eight protocol. Isn't he also like? Doesn't he have resilience? Ah, he has four armor. I don't like it, but I mean it's a yellow alert, so maybe one of them takes an action. So I think I can risk that. Okay, which still means we have to deal with the guy in the front first. So, how about Aaron comes up to here? I'm tired of waiting around. And kills that thing. Oh, you see that? Okay, how are you? On your order. Modify, what's your shot? 78, that's not good enough. Let's do some more holo targeting. Rapid fire on 93. And again. Chris, it's down. Yeah, have an ad protocol. Do I have threat assessment now? I think I do. Yeah, great. Free of watch. Uh, no, we don't want to evac. And you can. You're stealthed, right? So you can just. Keep an eye over there. Inch turn. Someone's healing. Oh, all oh, the civilians back there. Oh, I'm supposed to get them. And they trail. Nice hit. Okay, he's taking it. Of course, shield bearer shields. Who does he think he is? Okay, so um, if I can trust these numbers, which I tend to do, and then we have these two jerks and then the group all the way in the back killing civilians. So I'm kind of confident that I can just run and gun here to take care of the shield bearer. Alternatively, I can also assist here again with. Yeah, let's take 
A sniper shot first. I want to target him. Daniel, how are you looking? 86, so precision shot, I guess. I like how the um, the preview showed like yeah you'll do two damage after armor and then he just dies. Oh, and I know what we do here. On the move. And so we have this new toy uh, called the Mac Shorty, uh, and we have that twice. So how about you die? Never mind, he's still running around the third one. Good enough. Superior defense. Nice, nice. Okay. Time to scout. Got some civilians here. I think I want to cover some ground here. So let's grapple. Maybe I could use the wind. Over there. I mean, there's a risk that these are faceless, but um, what are the odds of that happening, eh? Okay, Patricia, come run like the wind. Rest of the squad. Off. Dash up. Double time. How much do we care about cover? Mm, we kind of do. Go, go, go! I'm all over it! Trying to be back. Okay, he's yelling here. Okay, so we've got enemies right around the corner. Who knows? We might be able to engage them this turn. Was that a smart move? Well, didn't trigger the enemies, so that's uh, kind of smart ish. Okay, let's see if we can get some vision on these guys. Damn, how many are there? Three, they are three. And we do have a minor sight. Take a free reload. Oh, yeah. And remove that rocket here from play, please. Why do we even use double tap? Never knew what hit him. Wow. Okay, I did not expect the archer to just run away like a little chicken shit. So, I mean, you can run. Uh, but you can't hide from my hack un unless you actually do, then you can hide. But damn. Can I really not get... The Haywire Protocol line of sight from anywhere? I guess... Yeah, there we go. That's a bit risky, standing out in the open like that. Hmm. 
problem is it's an archer, so he might cause some trouble. How about some nano side from Mr. Flatline? Where are you? You're not Flatline. Come on, run away. Let the girl run away. You don't have line of sight on that thing either. So I was thinking dashing Cosmos over there and then hacking with a command. Maybe. No. That trooper guy is like there in this area. So I don't think we can do much about him. Uh, I don't know. Let's move already. Let's see if we get vision from up there. Nope. Okay, one fun check. Now that Erin is out of the way, didn't change anything. So I have like three spots, but nothing really with cover. How about? Like, let's think with, with rooftops. Yeah, I mean, we have plenty of spots where we can stand out in the open and... ...risk our life to do that. Who else is in the front here? Okay, I think we just... Yeah, okay. Let's spread out, off. dash ahead, and see... Actually... Finally. I kind of don't want to be in a position where the... Um, we're near any of the trailers. Because that's an archer, uh, that he can just... throw some rockets our way. Ruins our haircut. Running. Heading to that location. Also, I don't want to group up I'm on it. in any way. Still concealed, so come on. Got it covered. Hmm. I was just considering command and then slice, but that's too far away, I think. Pretty sure. So, Daddy, calm, like, yeah. That's too close for my taste again. Let's not group up anywhere. It's two enemies. That's the worst that could happen. Move it out. I'm done. Okay, he's running. Once, running twice. That's very nice. He's taking not the civilian. Ninety-five miss. A little help here. Ooh. Uh, interesting that the civilian even had the the voice line for hey, I'm being shot at. Okay, we don't have full override. We did not bring a skyjack, so no fun to be had this turn. So let's just. Let's just make sure that maybe someone who's not Master Sergeant gets a kill or two here. Really. I'm on it. Target 
target neutralized. Menace one five status confirmed. We're okay. not picking up any additional contacts. The AO is clear. Status confirmed. Mission accomplished. That was a bit underwhelming. I mean, that's twenty five minutes, including preparation for a retaliation mission. I'm not sure what's up with the enemy numbers. I feel like there should be more enemies on these missions. That was what eight, nine enemies. Granted, a freaking um, hive queen with two chrysalid soldiers is nothing to uh, scoff at, but eh. And Rosa Rodriguez was most under fire. What a brave civilian there. Dodging that like she was in the Matrix. So, what are we looking at? Just eight enemies. I don't get my hopes up for promotions, but you never know. Maybe nothing. While working with limited Absolutely nothing. And we do not get the corpses. What a disappointment. Well, on the bright side, uh, we kind of save the region. We lost two, rookie, two, two rebels here, which kind of sucks. Um, yeah. Did we get a promotion on flatline? No. So... Hmm. Okay, I'm thinking we... I, I'll, I'm gonna risk it. I'm gonna wait the six days for Snake to get back and then Wolf Squad gets, goes on one of these missions to continue the story progress. Okay, that's them reaching 100%. What's Advent Strength? Yes, Strength 7. That's also something that I might consider boosting. Okay. Do I boost this? Who's here anyway? So we've got, yeah, that squad. We did not bring a shinobi. What was I thinking? What's the mission? Hack the hidden resistance computer. Am I running with two specialists here? No, Fiona was stayed at home, right. <laughs> I'm gonna think about it. It's probably gonna be a boost. I think we can afford it. And then we'll go on Operation Moon Shield and a Strength 7 region for an Intel package, which may or may not be a facility lead. We don't know. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.